All right, question 16. Aaron Airlines has a fleet of airplanes whose average speed, oh sorry, is four times the average speed of derailleur passenger, of, sorry, of the derailleur passenger train. A derailleur train requires 12 hours more than the Aaron airplane to travel a distance of 2,000 kilometers. So calculate the average speed of each mode of transportation. All right, distance, speed, time. So we're gonna have plane versus train. They are each, okay, they are each going 2,000 kilometers. Uh, but we've got a bit of a comparison here. The, the airplane is going four times the average speed of the derailleur train. Okay, so if we let the train go X, that means the plane is 4X. Now, don't get sucked in by that 12 hours. That 12 hours is a comparison between the plane and the train. But the time here is not a comparison between them. The time here is simply how much time does the plane take? Well, the plane takes 2,000 over 4X. How much time does the train take? The train takes 2,000 over X. Okay, now the difference between those things is going to be 12 hours. Okay, but we got to think about how this works here. Essentially, in order to make these things equivalent to each other, okay, we're going to have 2,000 over 4x and 2,000 over x. Now, we're going to have to add an additional 12 hours. Now, we're going to put an equal sign in between here. I don't know where that 12 hours is going to go, but let's just think about it. If these two leave at the same time, okay, and you and I, let's say that you got on the plane and I got on the train, you are going to get there first because the plane goes faster. But that's your punishment for getting there first is that you have to now wait an additional 12 hours. I automatically take that additional 12 hours because I am slower but you are gonna to have to actually wait those 12 hours. So that additional time gets added to the faster, the faster person here. Now this equation, once I've got the time added to the right spot here, this equation actually is a little bit easier to solve than a lot of them. And the reason I say that here is because when you've got 2000 divided by 4x, uh, I can actually simplify that down right away. And 2000 divided by four is 500 over x plus 12 equals 2,000 over x. And then maybe what I'll do here is I'll, I'll simply bring that 500 over x over to the right hand side. So I'll come up here and, and solve this. So now this will become 12 is equal to 1,500 over x. Cross multiply and then divide. So 1,500 divided by 12. Now I just want to make sure that I get I get this right here, so I'll do this on the calculator. Divide by 12. And I get that x is equal to 125. So calculate the average speed of each mode of transport. Well, this tells us right here that the train is going 125 kilometers an hour. And we know that the plane is going four times that. So therefore, we can say the train uh, goes 125 kilometers per hour. The plane will end up going 500 kilometers per hour.